Hey there, welcome to this video. I'm glad you're here and ready to discover the household Notion template. In this video, I'll guide you through the configuration process step by step so you can get the most out of your future template. By watching this video, you will also better understand how it works as a whole. Let's dive in. The cleaning schedule section empowers you to efficiently manage all your cleaning chores and sessions. To create a new chore, click the corresponding button just below the navigation board. It will appear at the top of your dashboard in the inbox section. Rename your new chore, add the date, select a room, and evaluate the priority. Don't forget to click the checkbox to move the content from the inbox to the regular views. Below the daily chores, you can also create chores directly from this section by entering the required information. Explore two different views in the overview for the week section, displaying all your chores for the week for simplified management. Just below, find the monthly calendar view showcasing all your chores for the month. The weekly cleaning sessions view provides an overview of all your cleaning sessions for the week. Create a new session from the required day and the date will update automatically. Configure the type property to cleaning session, choose the priority, and select the room. Return to the Household Planner dashboard, where you can find an overview of all the rooms in your house and the number of completed chores. Enter a rooms page to manage your chores. Change the status to update the room report and repeat this process for each room until all chores are completed. After completion, don't forget to archive your chores. Effortlessly manage all your appointments with Notion using the dedicated database. Within this database, you'll find all family members. To add a new family member, click the New button. You can use an emoji representing the person or opt for a neutral emoji. Specify their role in the family or create a new role by typing directly in the property field. Provide additional details such as birthday, blood type, phone number, and email address. Now you're ready to schedule a new appointment. Click the New button to add a linked page. Enter the date, start and end times, and reference the contact and address. Below, you'll find the person associated with this appointment since we created the page from there. You can also link another person by clicking the corresponding option. The Meal Planner serves as a comprehensive tool designed to catalog all your recipes and streamline the meal planning process, even offering the option to schedule batch cooking sessions for added time efficiency. Recipes within this database are categorized by meal type, covering breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. You have the flexibility to create as many recipes as needed. Begin by assigning a title to your new recipe. Adding ingredients is simple. Select multiple items from the list, and the calorie count is automatically updated based on the chosen ingredients. Specify the prep and cooking time in minutes, and indicate the serving size for each recipe. This information is conveniently displayed on your dashboard, making meal planning a breeze. Additionally, note the type and regime of the recipe, and provide a personal rating by selecting between 1 and 5 stars. The Ingredients Database offers an extensive list of ingredients for use in your recipes, categorized across 15 different views with around 150 options. The All Ingredients view, sorted alphabetically, displays each ingredient's category and calorie count per 100 grams. For a comprehensive overview, switch to the Table view. At the bottom of each ingredient page, you'll find all recipes linked to that ingredient, streamlining ingredient management for your recipes. 
When creating a weekly plan, you have three different options, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Select the appropriate template based on your preferences. For instance, if you're planning lunch, specify a scheduled time and choose a recipe from your library. The day is automatically updated based on your plan creation date. This property is linked to the recipe library database, providing easy access to your recipes directly from the page content. Select a recipe from your library to add directly to your plan, simplifying the meal planning process. The batch cooking section is organized into four columns, allowing you to configure sessions for the week. Customize the date for your plan, add reminders through Notion, and include an end date with time. Link as many recipes as needed or remove ones you don't want. The prep and cooking time are updated automatically, emphasizing the importance of entering accurate data during the configuration of the recipe's library database. At the page's bottom, you'll find a list of all your recipes for quick access and selection during your batch cooking session. With these features, you can seamlessly plan and prepare your meals for the upcoming week, ensuring a convenient supply of healthy and delicious food whenever needed. Let's kick off by creating a new shop page. Click the New button and give the page a name. Enhance its visual appeal by uploading a square logo of your favorite shop or pasting a link to an image from the web. Now, head to the General Purchased dashboard to initiate your shopping list. You'll find three columns organized by purchase type, a grocery list, a house shopping list, and a household product list. To add a new item to the grocery list, click New. A side page will appear. Name the new item and add an emoji to illustrate it. Choose a shop from your list, input the item's expiration date, and provide details on the price and quantity. You can also include a web link to the product. Once the item is purchased, click the checkbox to move it to your stock. This action will also deduct the item count from the Grocery Shops database. The item will then appear in your stock and be added to your house budget database, which we'll explore later. Finally, navigate to the Food Stock section. The Food Stock Handler list contains purchased items. Check Finish to move these items to the trash, streamlining your organization and keeping your database clutter-free. This page seamlessly integrates with the previous one we discussed. When you check off an item from your grocery list, it's effortlessly counted and added to your stock. No need for manual input of dates or updates, as everything is automatically updated for your convenience. Enjoy the streamlined and automated experience for a hassle-free management of your grocery items and stock.